Hey guys, it's Shipface here, and this is this week's cruise news. The first bit of news I've got for you this week is that Carnival's brand new ship, Carnival Celebration, has arrived in Miami this week and has been christened. This ship looks absolutely amazing, and and I would really love to go on it. So I'm glad that it has arrived in Miami safely. I mean, you see lots of videos on Instagram and stuff. So head over to like Instagram. Ben and David have been on the ship uh, through it, some um, transatlantic. So go ahead there, go and see what they've been doing on on the cruise. Uh, so yeah, the ship looks really cool, and well done to Carnival on another brand new ship. Talking of another christening, MSC's a brand new ship and their largest ship in their fleet, MSC World Europa has been christened in Doha, Qatar, in Qatar's uh, brand new cruise terminal. MSC World Europa will be doing the season in the um, Middle East, going to like Dubai, Abu Dhabi, going to Doha, and another place around there, uh, just on like a five night, like, round trip cruise uh, yeah it's good for that sort of area that they get in one of those brand new and a really uh, up to date ship um, I also Qatar is also where the World Cup is being held I think MSC have a ship there as well that's staying there for like, the whole month like acting like a hotel so that's quite interesting uh, yeah so it, the World Cup just got started yesterday and yeah England won 6-2 today so that's good um, so I'm not sure about the World Cup in winter but yeah, it is what it is this week in my cruise ship memorabilia, I don't think I've shown this. I've shown a lot of stuff, and I'm trying to think of what I haven't shown. Um, we got this from Wonder of the Seas, and it is Coco, the towel animal photo frame holder thing. So yeah, we got this on um, Wonder of the Seas, and yeah, it, it literally feels like a Royal Caribbean towel. The photo literally comes on and off. It's kind of a picture of us on Virgin Voyages, so that doesn't really match up. But yeah, I just thought it, it was really cool. We saw it in the, the photo, um, I can't remember what it's called, the photo shop, uh, while we were looking at our, um, to get our photo, because I get a free one, because I'm diamond, I'm more Caribbean. So yeah, it has a more Caribbean logo, some sunglasses, and it was in a massive box, which was on the last day, and we tried to get through security on the, um, we put on a carry-on, going on to our flight back, and yeah, it got stuck in the, the security, x-ray machine and then it was just a struggle to get on the plane it wasn't a good idea we should have just put it in but we didn't want to break the frame so we just kept it in the box so yeah that's really cool you can pick those up on one of the seas i don't know about any other ships but yeah and they had they had a, a monkey as well but we prefer well no this is a monkey they had another one what was the <laughs> what was the other one? Oh, i can't remember oh but they had another one and you could get this one or, or um the other one uh, it was about 30 pounds including tax uh so quite expensive but everything's expensive at the moment so yeah a nice little memento and you can put the photo of your cruise in there so we like to hang on. Norwegian Cruise Line has announced this week that the next two cruise ships in the Prima class third and the fourth one will be delayed and not be coming out on their scheduled time due to supply chain issues involving the ship yards this has been a recurring thing because the Prima the one that's just come out was delayed. Viva has been delayed multiple times, so it's not surprising that the third and the fourth one will not be uh, uh, delivered in time. Uh, so I don't think I don't think the cruisers have been out, put out for these cru these uh, ships yet. So it's good that they're telling you earlier than when it said Prima. They sold the cruisers, then delayed it, cancelled, had to refund people. Viva did the same thing cancelled their normal, uh, inaugural cruise, had to refund people. Even um, p and um, Aravia, that's been delayed. Um, but they cancelled the first cruise. Uh, so now all the people that booked to go on the first cruise are now can't go on the second one because that one's already booked. So uh, it's just kind of a mess. So it's good at least that they announced this earlier than what they did last time. Royal Caribbean's brand new ship, Icon of the Seas, that's being built in Finland at the moment has had a major construction update where the sky dome, that massive glass dome that's at the front of the ship has just been moved onto the front of the ship. It was being built at the back of the ship and it literally got this massive like crane, I'll put a picture of it, and it had like a thing attached to the top of it and it's been raised and it's been put on there. I haven't seen the pictures of it looked on there. I, um, it looks really cool but I'm looking forward to see it all finished. I've seen some pictures of it inside 
what the render looks like to what it's going to look like is insane. So I'm really looking forward to seeing more developments as this goes over the next couple of months. But yeah, a massive construction update for Icon of the Seas. Royal Caribbean is testing a new main dining room menu on Symphony of the Seas. Now listen to this. They are getting rid of food like strip steaks, grilled chicken breasts, salmon and bolognese. And so that'd be more like comfort food for people that don't like trying the adventurous stuff. But then also the, the whole menu as an overall is getting smaller. So you, if you've been on a Royal Caribbean ship, they have the ones that stay there every single day and don't change. And then they have the ones that change every day. So like they have like five starters that just don't change. It's normally like a, a shrimp cocktail, a French onion soup, uh, escargot is always on there. Um, there's a few other. And then the top three will always change to like different stuff depending on their, their seven menus. And then main courses, again, same one. There's a steak, chicken I'm going to say, and... Um, there's just a few, and that's across all the uh, courses. And then the top three or four change every single day. Uh, but they're getting rid of that, and they're just having fewer options. We don't know if that's to do with um, them trying to cut down waste, because making less um, meals, or, or is it kitchen efficiency, trying to do less prep, less hassle making a, a menu for 40 items or making a menu for 20 items. We don't know, but they're testing out on Symphony of the Seas. I like the, what the War Caribbean had before, so I hope they don't change it for when I go on Anthem of the Seas. Uh, I don't think they change it that quickly on the whole fleet. Uh, but yeah, it's very interesting that they are trying a smaller menu on Symphony of the Seas. This is just in the main dining room. This week MSC had some more uh, news about new ships. MSC Seascape was delivered to MSC and now has started its transatlantic crossing to have its maiden season in the USA. It'll be going out of Florida and it'll be doing the Caribbean cruises going to their private island. So yeah, it's really cool to see a picture of the ships and especially that new arm they have on top that like moves around and throws you around. Like what's in Western Supermare if you've ever been there. So yeah, that's really cool. And the last bit of news this week and really big news, Disney Cruise Line has brought the unfinished Global Dream cruise ship that ships for 6,000 people and it's really interesting that Disney has gone on to buy that. Obviously it was about 75% complete and it would have been probably at a good price because it would either be just being scrapped or um, just not used at all. Uh, so Disney have brought it and they are hoping they're going to work with Meyerwerf in Germany to flip it into uh, Disney. So on the two ships they have on order, they've now just got this one, so there'll be a new one coming out in 2025. We don't know what, we've got this render of the ship, but we don't know anything else about it. They've just brought it, they're gonna flip it, and they're gonna make it Disney. Uh, so this is really cool information, so it will be very interesting to see how this develops and what they're gonna actually put on it, because this is a huge ship, 6,000 people. This is to match like ships like Wonder, and even the MSC's brand new ship World Europa. So it's be really interesting that Disney has gone into this like mega mega ship market. Uh, so I'll be really interested to see what Disney does. And yeah, and hopefully it comes to UK so we can see it a little bit. Because uh, this ship, originally the Global Dream was built for families going around the Asia market, but then the company went bust, I think. And then the ship was just sat there. So yeah, really interesting that Disney bought it and really big news. And that's all the news I've got for you this week. Thank you so much for watching. It's very much appreciated. If you like what you see, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. It's really appreciated and it really does help me out. I'm also on Instagram and on TikTok, so the link will be in the description below to follow me on those social media platforms. Thank you so much for watching. It's been Shipbased and I will see you guys in the next video.